Um, the teachers have been on strike for some time now, among other things, because some of their terms of service have not been met, including the expectation that every teacher in Ghana now would have received their laptop under the One Teacher, One Laptop initiative. Also, we're going to be talking about the energy ministry. The energy um, ministry has assured us, Ghanaians, that they are working assiduously to solve the power cuts and the power situation in the country recently. We recently heard from um, the energy minister as well. I'd like to know your take on these issues. You can connect with me via X or Twitter with the hashtag TV3 New Day. I'll be happy to read all your messages, I promise to read as many of them as possible before the turn of the hour. Here with me in the studios, my guests are here and seated. Awa Mohammed, Head of Public Relations, the Youth Employment Agency is here. Awa, good morning, how are you? Good morning, I'm fine, thank you. It's how been a minute. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, happy New Year. Many more happy new things. <laughs> also in the studio, my uncle, Bernard Moda, is here, um, former chairman of the People's National Convention and also the presidential Candidate aspirant, is that correct for the PNC? Did I capture that correctly? That is correct. Thank you so much. But the aspect of being your uncle is invalid. Okay, <laughs> which I choose my family. <laughs> All right. Also in the studio this morning, Dr. Clementa Park is here, member of parliament. Busula South constituency is here. He's also the deputy ranking member on, educa on the education committee <coughs> of parliament. Good morning, sir. Selene Nalo. I beg your pardon. Oh, I'm responding in bully. Oh, right. So, in bully, you greet Soluk. Soluk. And we respond Soluk Nalong. That's a beautiful language. Yes. Uh, it's been long since I've been here, but yes. TV3 knows that it's my tradition. Soluk. To always <laughs> greet in bully. All right. So, yeah. I say Soluk. You say Soluk. Solu. Yes. And you say? Soluk Nalong. Soluk Nalong. It does correct. Ah. I like it. Yes. Anyway. So, <laughs> it's good to I've, be I've here. I've learned something new today. Yes. It's good yeah. to be here. And it's Bulsa. 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 Yes. The I is silent. Bulsa. 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 Bulsa South. Right. Bulsa South. Yeah. All right. So, thank you for the education. You're welcome. It's great to have you. Have you. I hope you're I, well. I, I can, good to be here. I can uh, expect this bully from our elder brother. Oh, I, I'm happy because, to learn. Because, it's not bullying. Because see, growing up, he has given us sufficient <laughs> knocks. You know, then, personally. Oh, yes. Oh, I see. You know, we grew up in the same uh, environment, I see. in the same space. Okay. And, and then we so say are the, say the things a generation did. above his generation. Okay. He is a peer to my younger brother, who is okay. a professor at UCC. Okay. And so, of course, you know, senior brothers do their things and smaller brothers want to follow them around. <laughs> and, and so, so you have given him some knocks? Uh, yes, that, that is I a see. matter of fact. Ah. <laughs> but I am proud of him. Okay. As a younger brother. Okay. He has earned his due. Okay. Yes. Well, if he's my uncle and you're a generation ahead of him, that makes you I'm my, your senior uncle. My senior uncle. Yes. All right. Well, well you accept that I'm her uncle. <laughs> All right. Well, she has claimed Let's as talk family. education. No, you have claimed us as family. Yes, I have. For good reason. Yes, for good and reason. So we have to reciprocate. I Thank you so much. Your uncle, not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awam is my brother-in-law. Okay. So uh, let's let, let, let's talk education. I was listening to some BEC candidates yesterday who were lamenting about how badly the strike is affecting them with their exam around the corner. <coughs> they have been asked to go home because their teachers are not available to teach because they are on strike. This is not the first time we've heard about striking teachers. It's, it's a thing that we, we have constantly had to battle with. Now, the National Labor Commission has asked teachers to go back to the classroom and uh, engage with government to resolve their issues within 24 hours. The teachers are saying that, well, they, no matter how long they stay out of the classroom, they will be able to make up for it um, when they come back, citing COVID, and other, um, you know, especially COVID, after COVID hit, they were still able to come back and make up for the time. So they are on strike. What's your stance on the Labor Commission's instruction for them to go back? Well, I think as a state institution, what the responsibility of intervening to ensure that uh, there is peace in terms of the relationships between the employer and the employee, the Labor Commission is functioning within its mandate. 
and that is, is to be respected. And I'm glad that the teacher unions have also given the Labour Commission the needed respect in terms of its mandate. I mean, they could have chosen not to respond to the invitation, and they could have chosen not to agree to the direction that the Labour Commission has given. And I think the reason why they have done so is because... You say they have agreed. No, no, they say they are going to consult with their members. Yes. 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 So, in principle, they have agreed with the direction that the Labour Commission has given, but it's predicated on the outcome of the consultation with their members. And that yes. is right, because I've been a unionist. As a union leader, you don't represent yourself and your own views. It is not for their own personal interests mm -hmm. that they are where they are. So it is a good signal. The fact that they have even agreed to convey the outcome of the dialogue between them, the Ministry of Education, and the Labour Commission to their membership, it gives us a ray of hope okay. that we could be seeing a resolution in as far as the reasons that precipitated the impasse are concerned. But the point I was, I was seeking to make is that many of us have been teachers. I mean, until I became involved in national politics, I was a lecturer. I know Bernard Mona was in the educational sector, a teacher. I don't know of a while. Yeah, I was trained. My I own was family, my mother is a retired director. She taught, she even taught me. My younger brother is a teacher. He's now a, a professor. My youngest brother is a teacher. So the point I'm trying to make is that teachers by nature mm -hmm. would have to be pushed beyond what they can tolerate to decide that they are going to put down their tools which is to impart knowledge and to help train and build the next generation, the future of the Republic and the future of humanity. Okay. And so when teachers decide to take the kind of action that the teacher unions in the pre-tertiary educational sector took, it was because they didn't find avenues and they didn't get the needed audience, as, as they said, in terms of the employer engaging with them and giving them serious assurances in terms of addressing, the, addressing their grievances. And, and we know the grievances that yeah. they listed. One of them, which I think ought not to have been a grievance in 2024, was the fact that about 100,000 of them were yet to receive laptops that they had paid for somewhat because 30%. monies from their salaries yeah. were deducted. Yeah. So what was the reason and why is it that 100,000 teachers have not yet received their laptops? I mean, clearly, you can't expect them to be amused by that because it's for good reason that government felt it was necessary in agreement with the teachers to introduce the one teacher, one laptop policy. So what has been the reason why this program has not been fulfilled down the line? And they also raised issues about the lack of a service scheme yeah. in terms of a document that will lay out the rules and regulations or the guidelines about their movements within the parameters in terms of moving from one level to the other, how appointments are, are made and what to expect. And I think it is a legitimate matter. And I am even ashamed as a member of the Education Committee uh, that some of these issues have not been resolved. And I have said that even my committee, of which I am the deputy ranking member, we are failing Ghanaians. I believe that we have not been very forceful in holding duty bearers accountable as far as the educational sector is concerned. And so we also need to up our game. Look, the impact of teachers going on strike is severe. 
collectively we are talking about 8.8 million learners in the pre-tertiary educational sector who have had to go without learning for almost five days, if not more. Because KG alone, we have 1.3 million. Then in primary school, we have 3.4 million. In junior high school, we have 1.4 million. And in senior high school, we have 1.3 million. So cumulatively, this is the huge number. And this is the future of this nation. Yeah. Because we are talking about the entire pre-tertiary educational sector and the teachers who are supposed to be there to mentor them, to teach them, to guide them, to groom them. Yeah. And you see, the role of a teacher, I've always argued, is very important. Teachers are not just people who are confined to the classroom. Even in, in the societies, in the communities within which they reside, teachers play a very important role. I have argued, for instance, that if I had a choice, the teaching profession would be one of the most rewarded in terms of remuneration amongst every other profession. As we all sit here, which of us would have been here if not for a teacher? You tell me, which engineer, which politician, which medical doctor, which member of parliament, which profession is not the product of a teacher? So we ought to look at treating our teachers well and making sure that they get their due. We don't have to wait for them to come complaining. Then we ignore them mm -hmm. and sometimes we treat them with disdain. And then when they decide to lay down their tools, we all suffer. And, and we then we then we try to, come back. to somersault backwards. Okay. Pretentiously. Trying to make it look as though the teachers are insensitive and they are reneging on, on their responsibility. When in fact it is the duty bearers who are failing to do what they are, they are expected to do. Uh, so Kamala, just very quickly, uh, uh, public uh, sector uh, teachers. Okay, please. From please KG land. to junior high school. Okay. As of 2022, from the Ministry of Education data that it presented to Parliament, when we're looking at the 2024 budget estimates, 340,252. But this is the largest group of public sector workers. And if you even add, you know, those in the tertiary sector, mm -hmm. the largest group of public sector workers are in the educational sector, sector. For good reason. Because we need them to be able to thrive and prosper as a nation. And develop as a nation. All right. Um, thank you, Dr. Parker. Um, Bernard Mona, this is not the first time teachers are going on strike. <laughs> and this is not the first time they've been asked to go back to the classrooms, even though they are asks or their needs have not been met. How do we balance out the rights of the teachers to go on strike and demand what was due them and the need for our learners to have in uninterrupted education? Because the BC is just around the corner, for example, and these students are at home. They've been asked to learn by themselves. In fact, one of the news stories that a teacher had asked the students to go and prepare by themselves. H how do we balance these two sets of rights? First, in regards to Dr. Apak and my... The pre-tertiary teachers have been on strike since March 20. When they decided... Sorry about that. Um, Awal Mohammed, and to you, of course. And since our Muslims are still in the Ramadan, it's good to remind them that this period must be used to guide our nation properly, particularly sexually, in line with the Ghanaian family values. Mm -hmm. And I think that the chief imam and all Muslims must appreciate the times in which we are, that it's important that their voices are heard and strongly on the president's refusal to receive a bill and to go further to, uh, to sign it. We will discuss that matter in detail at, at the appropriate yes. time. 
it was not until Monday, I was in Sankana on Monday. But Sunday, I had to be in Wa to attend about three or four funerals. The Upper West Regional Minister lost the mom. Then two party chairmen in succession, the one that succeeded, the other also died of the PNC. And so I went for the funeral adwas. So I slept in Sankana. Only to wake up in the morning, <clears throat> as is usual. Then the kids were in the house coming to greet me. So I said, ah, you are not going to school today. And they said, teachers are on strike. And those who know me closely know my relationship with kids. When they get up, they come to me in the village. So I laughed and I said, ah, but teachers are on strike. Are the students also on strike? And so I called some of our guys there and said, if the teachers are on strike, we are not on strike. So we should go and teach them. So we mobilized them to the town hall and we're doing what we also thought will impact, not obviously on their curriculum, but to tell them some things. So as far as Sankana, the teachers' strike is impacting. Dr. Apak, you know the community I'm talking about. Yes, I know Sankana. And you know that education and education material is almost non-existent. And so the few outside of the strike. If, yes, yes, outside of the strike. And the few you say teachers, education and education, education material materials yes. are almost non-existent. What do you mean by education? Oh. You see the kind of schools we have there? Students still have to lie on the floor. The chairs, some of them have to carry from home into the classroom. In Sankana. In Sankana. And for most schools, furniture deficit. We have about one point three million students who have no access to Some food. of them have to carry their own in mothers Sankana. in Sankana. No, across the country. Sankana okay. is just an example. They understand. So, if you have such, and the few teachers, and majority of the teachers don't even stay in the community. They come from Wa, they come from other places. So they ride into school. As soon as they finish teaching, they ride out of Sankana. Because, of course, the environment is not the type they want. And this is what I say all the time. When teachers stay in a community or within the vicinity where students are, students who are having problems understanding anything can easily walk to a teacher to seek clarification. But where the teachers come and teach and they go, and the student want clarification on anything outside of the normal teaching hours, they, those two students don't get the chance. And that is why me, I keep thanking people like Apak and uh, Aloy is, uh, uh, Mool, who decided to be around so that when you were having any difficulties, they will guide you. Mm. So these pupils, despite that they are already lacking, are also going to suffer. They are suffering not because the teachers don't want to be in the classroom, but because government is failing to meet its part of the bargain. See, I disagree with you, Dr. Park, on the way the Labour Commission is working. These teachers started threatening that, look, government is failing to meet its part of the bargain. And they started, and they put a date that if that day happens to come and their issues are not resolved, they will go on strike. The Labour Commission sat down like the National Fire Service, waiting to hear that fire is here. Then sometimes they will even run with the empty thunders. Yeah, I agree with you on that score. Do you understand? You did, you did nothing. Proactive. Should have been proactive. You did nothing. To call the teachers and the ministry to say, look, this is what the teachers are saying. What can we do to avert the strike? You wait when the strike now takes off. Then you call them, come and sit down and talk. And as they have come, you are telling them that go and lay, stop the strike for 24 hours. <laughs> Tell the ministry. In plain language. Ministry. You have failed to honor the obligations under your watch. 
what is it? Is it liquidity issues? If it's liquidity issues, you don't have math to talk. You should explain to the teachers. They are human beings. Talk to them. Let them understand that, look, we are in crisis. That is why what we are supposed to do, we are unable to do. They will reason probably with you. But you ignore their concerns. And worse still, you tell them that, look, um, you make, we will deduct 30% from your salaries. Then we'll give you laptops. Yeah. Some people's laptops. 500 CDs. Some people's laptops that they bought are already running out of use. And some are yet to get. Some are running out of use. Oh, yes. Let are you speaking to the quality of the laptops oh, yes. that were provided? Yes. What exactly do you mean? They were not of good quality. Oh, you didn't hear the teachers complain about the quality. Some of them said that even the 30% that was being deducted from them, that could buy them the kind of laptop that they have supplied them. 540 cities. Yes, they said it could buy because why? If you look at the specifications of those laptops and what is in the market, you could use 540 to go and buy some. Are, are you yeah. sure of that? That is what the teacher said. That's I didn't what they say. said. Yes. Okay. At the time, these were being distributed. Okay. So there is this attitude that we don't care until there is fire. We must rise above this we don't care until there is a problem to ensuring that we stall the problem from occurring. The Labour Commission has failed in its proactive duty to ensure that they are able to quell. Look, the problems that is being faced now, some of the schools, they have not been able to meet the expected slabi. Yeah. And within this period, they have to hurry. But I'll come back to that issue. You yeah, understand? Then all of a sudden, the teachers are on strike. The teachers tell you that we are able to make up. When you are able to make up as a teacher, who tells you that the students are able to absorb at the same rate? Right. Mm. Because you will come and teach, and you rattle, you say what you want to say. You have covered your part of the syllable. It is for the students now to go, what time do they have, to do the needed research to cover up the deficit that has occasioned. I will join calls that given that our children are preparing for these exams, our teachers will temper mercy with justice. Because if they want to demand their pound of flesh, in this insensitive era of our governance, I'm not sure that they will go back to the classroom. So they should... They should... I appeal, appeal to them. But that, if they do go back... I appeal to them that, look, some of them, in fact, their children are also part of this exercise. Mm. And we're all looking for a brighter future for our kids. And given that circumstances, I'm making a human appeal that is not based on their rights because their rights have been trampled upon. Yes, but oftentimes this human appeal is made from parents, even outside of the political space, from parents, from community leaders and so on, even from the students themselves every time teachers go on strike. But then the challenge still remains because the, the teachers so, would often, so, I think that like Dr. Park said, so, so what teachers I, I, by their nature would want to teach their, their children. Definitely. And so they, they, love they, to do they their want work. to go back to the classrooms. And they would often go after negotiations. But how do we balance their right so I would entreat to the strike Labour Commission and get their, their not their to needs sit down. They know the issues. The Labour Commission knows the issues. They know all these issues, concerns, that the various institutions are raising. Mm -hmm. They should not sit down. And when things are run out of control, then they start now giving orders. If the Labour, Labour Commission takes the bargaining agreements, right, yeah. and they read them the way they are supposed to read, they will be able to point out to the ministry in particular. That ministry, A, B, C, D ought to have been met by this period. Mm -hmm. You have not met your part of the obligation. We are entreating you to make good your part of the bargain so that we can avert any possible, uh, what do we call it, um, disorder within the, 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 the labor environment. Mm. If you don't do that, and you just sit down until they go on strike, then I think that your income that you earn is not meritorious. Okay. He, he represents <clears throat> government, so maybe I should chip yes. something in. 
Who, who represents uh, he does. Awal? Yes, right. he does. He's the employer. Yes. He represents the employer. Yes. yes. You see, just to emphasize the point that Mona made, we have students who are preparing to take a very important exam. seminal exam. Yeah. You know, the BEC mm -hmm. is a seminal exam to another stage. We have a situation where this current crop of students who are going to write the BEC have never seen or used a textbook since they entered GHS 1. Because one government decided to change the curriculum and introduced the new standard-based curriculum, which came in effect, into effect, I believe, in September 2018. Government failed to produce and supply textbooks to public basic schools based on the new curriculum. We had Are you speaking to... in respect of a particular region? Or no, 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 particular... nationally. Even as we speak today, almost okay. about three, four years of advocacy, government finally started supplying schools with those books. And only 65% have been supplied nationwide, not even 100%. And the 65 are for primaries one, a kg two, primary six. As we speak today, so GSS, there is no textbook. JHS students don't there have. There is no textbook. So, so what, what so, are the teachers teaching with? Well, that is why their absence is even more crucial than ever. So the students literally have no material on their own to study and prepare, and that is why you are hearing final year students preparing for their BEC, complaining the way they are. Because without the teachers, they are seriously incumbent. And oh, I wow. thought that was very important to state. Okay. To also re-emphasize the importance of having the teachers in the classroom. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. What's going on? Thank you so much for the opportunity. Good morning to my distinguished senior brothers. And thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, I'm a teacher also uh, I was trained at University of Education in okay. yesterday when they they came to Labor Commission you know we share the same building with them so I met a, a lot of my colleagues who, who were trained together so uh, I'm also a, a trained teacher again if you look at the demands by the teacher unions mm -hmm. all the three or four demands are legitimate they have raised legitimate concerns and I believe that uh, with what Labour Commission had done yesterday with them and the, 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 the employer, that is Ghana Education Service and the Ministry, I am hopeful that by the close of today, they will be able to call off the strike because there were deadlines that were given. Uh, I remember uh, on the collective bargaining agreement, they said by uh, if April. June. Uh, April, that's the collective bargaining agreement. Okay. By April, they should receive a draft from Ghana Education Service and uh, the laptops too. By June, everyone should be able to get the laptop. And, uh, and again, the teachers that were suspended by OSP, they said within a month, they but will be salaries. able to, yes, the, the, the salaries, they will be able to really get to the uh, OSP so that he concludes on his uh, yeah. investigation so that they are paid. So if you check all the de dem demands, these are really legitimate demands. You know, most silly, Labor Commission comes in when there is an impasse. When they start the negotiation, the Labor Commission doesn't come in with a negotiation. It is when they reach a deadlock that the Labor Commission comes in. Over the years, the teachers have been using strikes as the last resort. And uh, it's also really uh, the case of any labor union. But uh, as to whether they are able to exhaust all the necessary channels to, de to, to de declare a strike, that is mostly the reasons you see Labor Commission telling them, go back to the classroom, then negotiation goes on. So I think that is the reason Labor Commission has directed them, go back, and there are deadlines that are given. This is the first time I'm hearing deadlines like this when they went and the, the Labor Commission is giving deadlines to the employer that make sure that you are able to really get 
uh, these their demands addressed by June. So if you check, almost all the demands must be addressed by June. So I am hopeful and I'm appealing to them to really go back to the classrooms so that they teach, especially those who are preparing to write their BEC exams. When you check the laptops, uh, you know, because we said we were, we, we, if you check our manifesto in 2020, we mentioned that we will give laptops, uh, uh, tablets to basic schools and the uh, uh, senior high schools. And uh, because we will want to move Ghana into some smart schools, mm -hmm. that is the reason we started with the distribution of the laptops. Mm -hmm. The laptops, uh, government did not uh, uh, deduct from their salaries. They did not deduct from their it salaries? It is not from their salaries. It is money that is for them. As Honorable APAC is aware, it is not in their salary that uh, the 540 was deducted. There is something that President Akufado introduced as president when he became president. Uh, the continuous professional development allowance, which is paid annually. It's 1,200 cities for the year. For, it, for teachers? For teachers. So when he introduced that, because it is continuous professional development allowance, we believe that if you deduct the 540 from that continuous professional development, because it is meant for them to add value to themselves. Mm -hmm. So if that deduction goes there, it will help. I'm not saying it's not their money, but I'm telling you that it is not from their salary as it's been portrayed that it's from their salary. Their salary is intact, but this continuous professional development allowance is what the 540 was removed. And again, when the laptops came, the uh, TM1, uh, when it came out, we had all the issues that they are substandard, they are this, they are that, and so on. Up to now, the teachers are demanding the 100,000. I never heard any of them saying that these laptops are substandard, they have broken down, and so on. No. For the past two years, then we started distributing these laptops. Again, the distribution started from senior high school. You see, the beneficiaries are not only teachers. It is supposed to be senior high school teachers, junior high school and primary school teachers. Then some non-teaching staff and some people within the education offices, they are supposed to take these laptops. Mm -hmm. So when they started the distribution, they started from senior high schools. So as I speak right now, about 95 to 96% of those in senior high schools have it. The teachers? The teachers, yes. 95%? Yes. I, didn't, I don't want to say 100%, but they started from the senior high school. So the stocks available was given to the senior high schools first. Because we knew that we will give, lap, uh, we'll give tablets to all the senior high school students as the start. So, so the we teachers make who sure are that those complaining who, currently are not senior high school yes, students, uh, some, teachers? Yes, some of them primary school, some of them education officers. What's the delay in distributing the laptops to the junior high school and primary school teachers? I think the KE technology, because it is not the ministry that is doing the distribution. It's the company that uh, procured it. KA Technologies, mm -hmm. they are doing the distribution across the country. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the main problem is from the, those okay, distributing. What is the problem? I do not know because I really do not uh, know how they do the distribution. But the information I have from the ministry is that they gave them the opportunity to do it because they, 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 they uh, procured it. They got the contract to procure it. Again, uh, I don't want to talk about that. If you if you ask me the question, I will be able I, to I talk didn't about really it. Hear exactly. What she said. So, but, so, <laughs> but so so uh, but when they did that, they are in charge of the, uh, uh, the, the the laptop, and it has one year warranty. Within the one year, they have service centers in all districts across the country, and uh, within that period, that's why I'm saying that. Now, if you check the senior high schools, because we were to give all senior high schools students laptop uh, tablets. tablets we decided that the distribution should start from senior high school that's why i'm telling you that in senior high school 95 to 96 percent of teachers in senior high school have it i just don't want to say 100 percent but okay. they had a stock okay. of over 450 the teachers are okay watching. 
I, I'm going to yes, read. A, I'm going to read a few yes, messages yes, from. Yes, I'm going to read a few I, messages I, I from am, teachers am, who are watching. Yes. Mm. But I, I wish you could you could speak to the teachers who have not received their laptops. Yes, because it's one of the reasons for the strike. So now the minister has agreed with Labour Commission and the the the. Uh, teacher unions, mm -hmm. that by June, every single teacher will get his um, uh, uh, laptop. If we could know the reason they haven't gotten it by, by now... These are delays it would, from... I said yeah, delays it, it from... Would make that promise, yes, I'm saying It that. would make that promise, mm. you know, believable. Because if we could know that, okay, they are not de delivered because there was a delay in production or a delay in procurement or whatever, or there's no money, then if you say you're going to deliver by June, based on the reason for the delay, we can believe you. And so, for the teachers to believe that, okay, this is actually so, going to be delivered, and then they'll go back so, to the classroom. So the, the company was tasked to give 380,000 laptops. Mm -hmm. And they are able to supply over 280. And it's left to 100,000. Okay. So it's almost about 70-80% uh, done. That okay. clearly tells you that indeed uh, okay. uh, they, they, they are capable. Let me read some messages coming that. in. Yes. Um, all right. Isaac, um, Anil, Anil Sanya says, um, Hey, uh, well, if you see my laptop, if I boot it, it writes on its own. It's, it stops on its own. Majority of the machines have broken down, please. Julia Square says, this laptop issue, I can tell you, the laptops are not fit for purpose. Two of my colleagues' laptops are spoiled, and they can't even work with them anymore. I've lost, they have lost valuable information because the laptops are not working. Um, Augustine Mafu says, this one is very funny. The laptops are all substandard. Moses Agna says, the laptops are substandard and not used for purpose, Mr. Wow. Uh, not fit for purpose, Mr. Wow. Darkwa George says the laptops are substandard. My laptop lasted exactly 16 days. <laughs> All right. Aduma Yusuf says my laptop failed me with its keyboard function. Opoku from Point Beneza says, Ah, well. There's no need to draw boundaries between my salary and the PDA allowance. The, it's all money that's coming to me that has been deducted. All right. Um, Vanya Jr. says a teacher friend of mine brought, brought his laptop home. And immediately we saw it, we all started laughing. Way a laptop. Um, <laughs> Kweku Dennis says, good morning to the next president of Ghana, Dr. Mama Dubaumia, man of vision and innovation. All right. Uh, Casey Charlie says, all the laptops are substandard. Patrick says, the Awal guy does not know what he's talking about. Does it mean to say that the money for the laptops is from the CPD? So the teachers should not complain. No, he didn't that. say that. I didn't say that. Yes, you didn't say yes. that. But so, you, you said that it's not their salary. Exactly. Uh, Dr. Park said that it's from their salaries that was uh, were deducted. Um, but but I also mentioned but, but the same. And I said, I said it's an allowance. It's an allowance. If, if really NDC will, was in power in 2016, this allowance never existed. Okay. That's what I mean. It is President Akufuado who <laughs> brought <laughs> in this, <laughs> who brought okay. in this allowance but, is and is paying it annually. Is he okay. paying it from his pocket? You didn't, pay that, you didn't pay that money from so the consolidated farm. You didn't it's pay that. Resources. You didn't see the need to help them So give them their, their laptops. It's as simple as that. They will be no given because to about 80 to 90 percent, about 80 percent of them. Do the 100 percent. And so, the rest so they have been have assured not, that in two months, everybody June, will receive their laptop. everyone will receive his laptop. Okay. That's what the minister has assured them because he has spoken to the KA technology. Again, those raising issues about these laptops. I was thinking that they would say that we sent it to the service center and they couldn't fix it. Even your laptop that you have here may have a challenge. Yes, but if exactly. a laptop becomes faulty after 16 days, no, but then it raises see, question, how, it raises okay, questions so how do you authenticate this? The, the what standard shows is the teacher? Of, of, oh. of, you understand? Of oh. What shows the person texting is a teacher? Oh. You mm. don't know the person. It's a texter. So I'm saying that there are service centers in all districts across the country that KA technologies have them and they work on these laptops. So if you have issues with a laptop, I wanted someone to come and tell me that. I had issues with a laptop. I sent it to KA technology. They couldn't fix it or they couldn't replace it because it has that's, one year warranty. Okay. Within the one year, if you brought it 16 days and within the one year, within, it's just within the one year. They'll be and fixed for you. They'll even replace it. I because see. it's a, 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 there's one year warranty. When they think they cannot fix it, they'll replace it. Because within 16 days, you can send it back for them to give you another. Mm. You understand? I don't want to doubt what the person is saying, but I'm telling you that because there is one year warranty, all those talking about it should tell us that. I have been to the service center. 
the service center is not working, or these things, uh, they couldn't fix it. Or I went there and they fixed it, but still it is not. But when someone tells me that, well, when they brought the laptop, I look at it and I think that uh, it's laughable. This is not a laptop. No, it's a very sleek laptop, nice one. And again, all the, the, the specs and everything was agreed on with the labor union uh, 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 executives. They even proposed that if government is doing this, government should deduct from it so that they own it, so that it belongs to them. Government is paying 70% of the amount, and the, 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 the teachers will own it. Has it government, belongs to them. Has government paid the supplier completely? I can't speak to that because the supplier is not complaining that his money has not come. We're trying to understand the delay. I'm saying that the delay is from the supplier. And the supplier and the yes, minister is saying that. And the but minister, I'm and the you minister if is, the supplier has been paid. The minister is saying that by June, everyone will get it. So I'm sure that he has paid him. That's the reason You're he's sure? saying that. Yes, I'm sure that okay. he's paid him. That's the reason he's giving the right. deadline of June, that okay. by June, everyone will get it. In all fairness, I want to read one message for you, um, which says that I've been using my laptop for two years and it's, function, it's functioning perfectly. I've had no issues at all. So that's one person saying that yes. their laptop is all right. But all, I'm getting a lot more messages talking about the fact that the laptops don't work. I'll read some more later um, as we go back. Um, Dr. Park, when I was speaking, you, were, you, were, you wanted to make a point. No, I, I was just trying to let him understand that if he had a problem with my choice of the use of salary, I'm prepared to substitute that with, <laughs> with income. income. <laughs> All right. So the, the point is, it's money that was supposed to accrue, to, accrue, accrue to, the to the teachers, that is the point which has been deducted. I wanted to clarify. All right. All right. That's, and that's fine. You see, the, the messages are not pleasant because the teachers are watching. And, and they feel that a wall is trying to justify why the delay shouldn't be a source of complaint. No. That. that is what we are trying to say. You are giving <laughs> us this whole narrative about tier one secondary school teachers, tier two this, tier. Really, a teacher is a teacher. You promise them a laptop each. An arrangement was made. Government will take 70%, as you said, and then 30% will come from their uh, official uh, development allowance. Uh, <laughs> The development allowance, yeah. right? Income. <laughs> yes. So what is the delay? And I think that is the issue. So rather than trying to go into the nuances, we should be focused on ensuring that, as the minister is now telling us, after the fact, the laptops get to the teachers by June, as you have said. And that... We look forward to the teacher unions conveying the outcome of the meeting with the Labor Commission to their members with the hope that they would listen to what has been said and listen to the cries of Ghanaian parents and indeed the very students that they are trying to mentor okay. under these very difficult circumstances and make a decision that will be pleasing to all of us. Because there is no guarantee that the strike will be called off or is going to be over until the teacher unions get feedback from their <laughs> members. So in I'll, other words, I'm also supporting the call by Bernard Mona that the, the teachers need to have been engaged they, earlier. They, 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 they should consider okay. the very students who are suffering and start to suffer even more rather than react to do you what think has that an the, insensitive do you think that the, the students, the teachers, should wait until their needs are met by the end of June? I'm well, asking this because I'm, oftentimes, I'm a parent, yes, you know, first of all, and I have worked in school. I'm also a teacher, and I understand the legitimate issues that the teachers have raised. And he, a while, has admitted that the issues raised are legitimate. So within that context, I would want to join the plea that the teachers should consider the students and the parents and the future of those students and temper justice with mercy. Once the government side 
at least publicly, mm -hmm. has agreed that it is going to take the needed action. With specific dates. With specific dates. Let's all put the pressure on the government side. Because if this current arrangement is not going to work, it is not going to be from the teachers. It is going to be from the employer not meeting the conditions that or the parameters out. that have been set okay. as a basis of meeting them to resolve the issue. Okay. So, as a parent, clearly, I also would want to plead with okay. teachers to reconsider the current position with the hope that right. the needful will be done. Okay, we're just we're going to draw curtains on this particular topic and move on to the next one in a moment. Uh, well, have you seen these laptops? Have you seen any of them? Yes. All right. I've seen them. And they from your personal and, assessment. Uh, yes, and uh, when you check the specs and everything, I believe that it's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, <laughs> right. Yes, yes, but but, but okay. yeah, yeah. When, you check, when you check the investment that this government has done in education mm -hmm. oh. in the last seven years, oh. it's unmatched in the history of this country. Should oh. we start talking Looking about at, Yes, but I'm, I'm telling you. Ah, but you the see, books the predator, but you, you told us that you have even re, uh, removed all schools under trees. It, it was in the green book. But that is because that you said there you are have communities that are growing. Ah, so then we you, you came to say that you have removed 5,000 schools So the school in trees. Sankana started just when we came he, into he government. He didn't say it was under trees. But you told us that uh, uh, schools, you have removed all schools oh, under well. trees. There is no Be single logical. senior high school in this country that has not seen development. Be logical. From 2017 Communities up to grow. Every senior high Every school. Every senior we high school. If you, like, you tell me your school, I what, tell you what, what is there. Of, when you, you say development, whether, you mean whether, infrastructure? Whether, yes, infrastructure. Whether classroom blocks, whether dormitories, everything. Infrastructure and yet, the head girl we of have Wesley girls, even the third secondary school, yes. told the president and the minister mm. for education, yes. when they went there for the mm. speech and prize giving day, that her juniors were sleeping on the floor. Mm. And that they didn't have furniture. And that one out they of have to run over 800 senior high I schools. I know I can replicate the story. One right. out of our 800 senior high I can replicate the story. Right. If you want a whole debate right. on education, so on STEM, you look at right. your minister of right. education. All right, we gentlemen. Have, I am have, challenging right, the I am challenging the new senior high school. the minister for education all right. to debate me <laughs> on one on one. On, on the issues infrastructure and challenges in, in the educational sector. Infrastructure want, in the right. educational sector. Don't speak about sector. things you don't speak about in the educational sector. Don't okay. Don't speak. That is not your Investment area. Investment in a, that's don't my area. All right. All right. Don't all right, Dr. Park. Um, uh, well, don't. I, I think I'll give an Anmona the final <laughs> word on this on this particular discussion, and then we'll move on to energy and electricity. It, is, it is sickening when there is a topic under discussion and we flip to our partisan discourses. We are speaking to the specific issues of our teachers who are on strike and our pupils who are going to suffer a consequence because they are preparing for exams. Our focus should be on how we'll be able to resolve this debacle so that our teachers can go and teach our students, our children, so they can perform well in order that they can have the future that they deserve. And here we are, going into time to talk about educational infrastructure and all that. Is that the issue that will send our teachers to the classroom now? Where I sit is that our Ministry of Education and probably collaborated by the Ministry of Labor Relations, failed in their duty to our teachers and to our nation. I am certain that if they had communicated the difficulties they were having in delivering the laptops and assured the teachers that by June, every laptop was going to be delivered to those who have to get it. I'm not certain that our teachers would have been on this strike mm -hmm. that is impacting on our people. And so it is not the teachers to be blamed. It is the government, the ministries, particularly these two ministries. And of course, you can add the Ministry of Finance because they normally will have to release 
for them to be able to do execute their pro, 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 procurement responsibilities. And so we should be looking at how to fix this matter. And I am concerned that if we don't deal with the immediacy of the issues, and we want to look back and see what we have done, we will always not find solution. Our teachers deserve what you have promised to give them. And when you have failed to do so, the Labour Commission cannot now turn into a, a policeman and be directing them as to what to do. Where was the Labour Commission when the government was failing to execute its part of the mandate? Okay. Teachers need okay. screen environment. Uh, well, there's a, there's a question yes. for you I'd like you to answer. Um, this is from Kofi Abouaj, who wants to find out if the smart tablets for senior high school students will belong to the students or belong to the school. It belongs to the school. All right. And if a tablet gets spoiled, who is liable to fix it? The parents or the school? The school will fix it. And uh, right. the, the, um, uh, the KA Technologies, uh, the company that is supplying, has service centers that they will service all day. Are you sure right. it belongs to the no, yes. it belongs to the teacher uh, the student? No, no it, it belongs quickly, to the school. Very quickly. It belongs to you the see, school. We are replacing <laughs> it with the I'm textbooks. a member of the education okay. committee yes. and I issued a statement on behalf of my side of the aisle on this ta smart tablets. Since we are discussing tablets or laptops, let me put on record that as a member of the education committee we have not seen these laptops that we are even talking about. The tablets? Yes, yeah, no, the laptops. Okay. And we have not seen these tablets either. As members of the Education Committee of Parliament, even when the president launched the uh, Smart Schools project, mm -hmm. we didn't receive an invitation as a committee. The chair of the Education Committee is an MPP member of Parliament. But he was not invited. We were not. We were in Begro undertaking a field assignment with an NGO on a project of how to assess the responses of service recipients with regards to the work of service providers in the educational sector. We were not invited. Very important. The uh, chairman was not invited. Assignment. We have not seen <laughs> the tablet. We have not seen the laptop. Were you aware of it? We are all aware. Were you aware of we the, are aware. the launch of the smart? Uh, we know because smart, we, we heard about it um, in the media. Program. We approved the Get Fund formula, <laughs> that, that which provided the funding <laughs> <laughs> to procure 450,000 tablets, not 1.3 million. For the first they are phase, not in existence. We phase. will find time to delve the first in that matter as well. There is nothing like a first phase because no provision has been made in the 2024 budget or the approved get found formula for 2024 for any additional 850,000 tablets. Where they are going to get the money from, they have not told us. So as far as we know, in Parliament, based on parliamentary documentation, from the Education Committee, only... 450,000 tablets that have been catered to and funding provided for. Just about 1.4 billion Ghana cities has been spent to procure 450,000 tablets. That is what we know. So when we don't know to anything else. At the lunch, at the lunch, they said it is four phases. First phase, three phases. First phase, 450. Second phase, 450. When, phase, when, when will the second phase be? Will it be this year? Parliament when they finish, has not been finish, informed. When they is with the this point one. I am making. When they finish with this one. You yeah. understand? Yes. When they finish this, which is, which is this when? one. They started with 30 CDR high schools, which has been completed as the pilot. Which we started schools? last month. I Give don't, us a list. I, I don't have I'm a member of the education committee. I don't, I don't have the list. When you say we don't have that you mean the students have a senior The senior high schools across the country was used as a pilot before the lunch on that day. 30 senior high school 30, students. 30 senior high No, 30, 30 senior, senior high, high school schools received tablets for all received, students. Yes, they received the tablet for all schools before the lunch. Which, which can you mention one of the schools? I will really have to consult and get back to you, but this is the uh, nah, information. The I'm information on the education is that committee on of that parliament. Day, 
before the lunch, we don't have we this have information. The, the minister was at committee. There, the minister couldn't the tell us the schools our, that he's telling pattern. us about. This is something that I'm telling you. This is a, uh, 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 an information from the Ministry of Education. And I'm telling you that as and a member of the you education were, committee, even at the lunch, the minister you were not at the lunch. You said you were not at the lunch. We asked so you didn't all these even questions. Know all okay. The minister details. has not so You said you were not okay. at the lunch. So you didn't know all I am these telling details. you about official okay. documentation, <laughs> not so what is happening. At, the lunch was pomp and pageantry. Show and tell. And you wanted to be part to of it. I am speaking to you as a member of pageantry and no, you were no, no, it disappointed is, it is you were not part of it. It is You couldn't even have the decency to invite your own chairman. The chairman was at Begro. Doing an uh, he wasn't important. invited. I was there. If doing an equally it important not, program in he, he wasn't invited. The committee was not invited. That program that you went is also equally important. You were not okay. <laughs> giving us the courtesy I, I as know, a committee. Dr. Pike, no. you've been speaking about this quite a the bit. The reason why I'm telling but, you this is that yes. there is a lot that is going on outside the remits of the agencies and institutions that are supposed to have oversight. We ask questions to the minister. Okay, so I have an information that was senior high school. school. You can senior senior high school. School. All of them have received their, their, their The modalities to select the schools, school. yes. all of that the minister could not provide. This was barely a week before the launch. Uh, today you are telling us that you have a list of schools Dr. that Pag, you have supplied. Dr. Pag, tablets do you to. think that this initiative is a useful one? We have never said that providing tablets is a bad thing. We have it in our own 2020 manifesto. Okay. But if you go to page 70, and education. Item number 7.2.3. Okay. K. We said we will provide free tablets with educational content to teachers and students to enhance teaching and learning. What's so your actual challenge? Our, What's your actual challenge that with, with how this initiative it should be done is, is transparently? Done. That the needed resources should have been mobilized to ensure that every single student in senior high school whether in my Fumbisi Senior High, a great technical school in Fumbisi, <coughs> or Kanjaga Senior High School, gets the tablet. But that for, is the from issue. where you sit but now on the education committee, that. from where you sit on the education committee, did you advise what you're saying? Now? Yes. Did you advise that yes. it be done? For I raised this question about the Pong City. The number, okay. The Pong City. What's the meaning of Pong City? It means that few, small. Okay. The Pong City of the quantity of laptops. I mean, tablets, tablets. vis a vis the number of students, 1.3. And I asked the minister, we have only been able to finance through Get Fund 450,000 tablets. Mm -hmm. And yet we have in excess of 1.3 million students. How are you going to go about deciding which schools, which students, what is going to be the criteria? The minister said, well, we would consider at least one school in every region. Then I went on to say, Minister, we need a clear policy guideline about how you are going to go about this. On the floor of Parliament, when we're debating the Get Van formula, I have the video. I raised this issue again and called attention to government to ensure that it mobilizes the needed resources. Okay. To ensure that we get enough lab, uh, tablets for everyone. And I cautioned that we will be monitoring very keenly to make sure that schools are not selected based on political gerrymandering. So we are yet to see the list. We are yet to see now the schools. Now you are saying that the and reason we don't have any of that information. Uh, about, a little about 450,000 were procured is because it is being this is the first phase. It, it, the implementation is in phase. Implementation is in phase. We have no policy okay. document. All um, of this should be in a policy document that should have been presented to the education committee and to be presented to Ghanaians. Okay. This is just math say. We so, don't de we so, are a nation. So, so, so he says they <clears throat> captured it in their manifesto. Let's put it on record that our manifesto came before this. Okay. And we also predicated okay. the, the giving of the laptop. Well, okay. I have, have, have smart okay. schools. We said from Julia. We said from Julia. We said from Julia. We are telling you that before we even put, before we put that in our manifesto, we have started the 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 STEM schools outside the political outside the political Dr. Park. Dr. Park. The eleven STEM schools that we have Dr. Park. That's not the conversation we're having. Which school? That's not the conversation we're having. That's not the 
Tell me a single school that is a STEM school in this country. Gentlemen, tell me a single school that is a STEM school in this That's not a conversation we're having. Dr. Park, that's not a conversation we're having. I, I'm, I'm interested to know the implementation strategy, yes. all right? You say that the first phase yes. is what it's is currently being implemented. Where, where, where can we find a document which explains the various phases, when they will be, and when all the schools will get their tablets? We're running an executive presidency. Mm. The president made these pronouncements. When he was launching it, he said that the first phase has been procured and it's 450000 But the president is not the one implementing, is he? But the one implementing is doing it on behalf of the president. Yes. So, so the president is telling so, you. So the, the president, president will come and tell us the president when the Ghana second is phase you, will be. telling you that it is first phase, second phase, third phase. First phase has been procured. Is there a, and it will be distributed okay. by June. They will finish with okay. the... Is there a document yes. where we can see clearly when the phases will be? So mm. the first phase ends in June. When yes. will the second phase begin? Which schools will be covered under the second phase? I don't know the fine details of this because I don't work with the Ministry of Education. The information I have is that uh, it is first phase, second phase, third phase. First phase is 450,000, which has been procured. Senior high schools across the country, 30 of them have taken delivery and the students have it. I'm told the Chumai Senior High School too has it. Wa Senior High School has it and some few other senior high schools before it was launched. After that, the distribution will start from uh, the lunch date, that is from today onwards, the distribution has started. And when they finish with the 450, they will go to the second 450 and distribute. So I know uh, have, it is have, that fund that is procuring it. Have they been procured? 450,000 uh, yes. has been procured. That's what we have heard. For now, yes. For the subsequent phases. It will also be procured subsequently because they, they are saying that we are doing four phases and it is get fund that is procuring it. Source of funding. Get fund. Get fund. From where? We've already passed the formula I for 2024. Uh -huh. do, do, so there will not be the any way supplementary way. budget? Okay. Uh, so you think you that there's the no way. supplementary budget? Okay. Not forget fund. No, no, I'm saying that there's no supplementary not budget in this fund. country. Not forget fund. <laughs> and, and the supplementary budget is for the procurement of it the can, rest of the tablets. It, it, it can be added to the supplementary budget. You are but not even know. sure. No, but I'm saying that. You the, said the, the sources could. of funding. It's get fun. He is saying that they have only approved for 450. That is I what know that they have approved for 1.3 1, 1. million. And this is the pronouncement by the minister and the, the president. They the are doing the I have actual. The formula. I'm saying that the they are doing the actual implementation. Not someone who is here. an opposition yeah. party <laughs> trying to really punch holes no, into no, it. No, no, the no, person no. doing implementation so is telling you that I am doing. No, the, the person doing the implementation is saying that I am doing 450,000 at the first phase. Second phase, 450. Third phase, 450. And it is get fund that is will be able to, uh, is, uh, uh, has the responsibility to yes. procure all. Yes, but I uh, would well, accept what you are saying if there is a clearly defined procedure for Which how procedure the second, third, and fourth phases would be procured and distributed. The same procedure that start, that, 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 that uh, the get fund has started will be the same procedure because it's get fund that is funding it. And I'm right, telling you, it doesn't that's, work that's, like that. That's, that's, that's all of our time. That's all of our time. It's 8.30. Get fund doesn't uh, but, work like that. But um, get let, let me try to read a couple, a couple more no, messages get coming fund in. Get fund gets its approval from parliament. All right. Um, to be able to spend. Greetings we to decide. my boss and proud Upper East, Honorable Clementa Park. Um, that's from... Um, Borga D line, uh, gentleman texting us from there. We have some tweets also coming in. Um, can we pull our tweets up, please? And let's read some of the tweets coming in now. And um, please, when it comes to teachers and the laptop issue, it's a hot issue. I waited two years and I had to give up and buy my own laptop. We Ghanaian teachers are really suffering, and that's why our colleagues are leaving the country in droves. And um, we ask them to treat us well. All right, um, more messages coming in on this issue of teachers, laptops. And tablets. If they claim that the um, TM1 is good, then they should supply their offices with it and ask if they if they can do that. The TM1 is completely not good. Um, good morning, now the same company that has failed to deliver the TM1 laptops to teachers, which has resulted in teachers going on strike, is the same company that's supplying the SM1 tablets to students. Let's pray for Ghana. And that's from Fred texting us um, from Adenta. And finally, Kusi Apia says, the laptops are super substandard. Hashtag TV3 New Day. All right. Uh, those are a few messages Oba, coming do you, in. Do you know um, that uh, we have issued Park, a statement very quickly? That's all our time. Um, <laughs> That's all, you the that's all our time. The Supreme Court decision. That's all our time. The Supreme Court decision. 
That's to, all I'll to, tell to hear the Fiamma Court's case ahead of Richard Sky's case when Richard Sky filed before the Fiamma Court. As a party, we have an issue with that. With the Supreme Court? Yes. All right, yeah. that's, that's we, with the Supreme Court. Let me show a statement. Okay. Okay. Let me, well, let me, but NDC has a track equity, record of bastardizing the court. In, 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 all, in all fairness. NDC has, has the track yes. record of bastardizing the court. We cannot, we cannot speak to what the, the, what the Supreme Court uh, NDC has a record of bastardizing the court, which we all know. All right. Bernard, I think in all fairness, I should give you about one minute to also speak before we wrap up. It will be remissed on my part if I don't salute the courageous people of Senegal for the wonders that they have done. Mm. That Jomai Fai Basiru, who was in prison a few days ago with his boss, Osmani Sonko, will step out of prison, just as Kwame Nkrumah, and be recognized after Sonko was disqualified from contesting the elections Sonko anointed him. And today, for a very long time in the history of Senegal, they went into an election and it was one touch for the young and vibrant Basiru and Sonko. All right. I have to commend them. And Africa is looking up greatly to the kind of pan-African leadership that they are going to offer so that the France control of Africa will totally dissipate. All right. With Senegal now off the control of France, we can be certain that French control of Africa is totally coming to a halt. All right. Thank you so much, Bernard Mona. Thank you, Dr. Park. Thank you, Awal, for coming in. Thank you for your messages um, also and for being a part of our conversation this morning on TV3 New Day. Still to come is a conversation on mental health, depression, and how to overcome it. Also, Cookie is going to be sitting with Stanley Eno uh, on the show today. Don't go away. You're watching TV3 New Day. If you haven't cashed out, dial star 439 hash, and you can win 1,000 Ghana CDs. Stay tuned. <laughs>